Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor of Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from DSEI London. It's day three, and we are, the, we are at the USC Partnership Pavilion. ADU is partnering with the pavilion, and here we have with us the man who's at the center of it all, Peter McKenna, who is also the Vice President for Business Development at Coleman Worldwide. Welcome, Peter, to ADU's chat room. Thank you. And uh, being a man at the center of it isn't really my title. I have a great staff here working with us uh, from all of the Coleman Worldwide team. I think there's 14 of us, led by Tom Coleman, who is on his way back to America now. But yeah, it's day three of a very, very busy show. Um, this is the first time that Coleman Worldwide has officially organized the USA Partnership Pavilion at DSEI. And I have to say, we've been very, very successful in terms of getting the American companies to come. We have 220 of them here uh, from 35 different states around the country. Uh, probably half of those co companies are new to this show. Um, all of them are reporting that they're getting great footfall and uh, meeting the right people while they're here in, in London at the show. Um, you know, I think it's, it's still a, an exciting period for us to be able to get together face to face after the period of time during lockdown and everything else where we weren't able to do this. Uh, DSEI did take place in 2021, but still under restrictions. And this time it really feels like we're back to, to pre-pandemic levels uh, you know, in terms of, of visitors coming through. Wonderful, absolutely correct. In fact, it's larger than the 2019 uh, DSEI. Yeah. And uh, Peter, you know, we'd like to understand from you, uh, was it a difficult task to get all these small MSMEs and SMEs together? Yes and no. <laughs> uh, there, there's a lot of them, but we luckily have great partners in the individual states that we work with. And uh, we have state groups from Louisiana, Georgia, Washington, Montana, Oregon, and many others that the, the state's job is to try to identify SMEs with novel, new, innovative products and then help them learn how to export by coming to trade shows like DSEI and uh, they, they take a small kiosk on the state pavilion and then they eventually start making the, the, the connections and getting the understanding on how to export to where they can then go off and have their own booth next time and, and eventually you know, they end up with uh, 72 square meters of their own. But that's where the lion's share of our small companies come from is uh, our partnership with the individual states. And, uh, you know, keeping in mind that you were also there at Paris a couple of months back. So, uh, you know, when you were trying to get the big ones here, um, many of the big aerospace companies of the U.S. Uh, do not make DACI their destination. So with the big ones, did you have a tough time? Uh, or uh, The difference, again, between aerospace and defense. That, that they, we, we you know, have always been very strong in aerospace and increasingly strong in defense. Um, different types of, of companies, different land focus and so on. But uh, we have a lot of the big boys right here with us. And then some of the other companies... Uh, affiliate with us, they partner with us. You know, the word partnership pavilion is uh, very uh, symbolic of what we're trying to achieve with our big OEMs, uh, several of whom may want to be with their local partner, they may be on real estate that they've owned forever and they, do, they are, are known for always being in a particular location, so they're somewhat reluctant to give that up, but it's, it's Team USA all the way through, whether they're in the pavilion, whether they're outside the pavilion, we're all in this together. Yes, wonderful. And uh, Peter, what we'd like to understand from you, that uh, here it's, it's day three, like we said, and uh, you said the footfall is good. Now, uh, between the governmental delegations, have you seen a good interaction between the host country and U.S.? Oh, definitely. Um, and in particular, you know, we're in what we call the forum area here. Yesterday, we had nine entities uh, from the MOD, the UK MOD, and the U.S. Pentagon. We had something like uh, 85 U.S. companies came and met one-on-one -on -one for B2B meetings with those MOD procurement officers. Um, couldn't have asked for better engagement between us and the host country. Right. And uh, do you have some uh, external displays also from the U.S. companies who are here? No. And I'll tell you why is that um, some of the space that had previously been used for external displays is now under construction for an expansion of the venue. 
So where we used to be able to put a helicopter or an armored vehicle, that's now a construction site. We're looking forward to that building being completed by October of 2024, and then by 2025, utilized for the show. And uh, now that you know tomorrow is going to be the last day, and uh, we are actually going to wrap it up, so uh, what according to you, have you got some feedback about what is the sort of business which could have been procured here by the companies which are here? Well, uh, not, I haven't gotten any actual uh, numbers, but I've seen some great conversations happening. And you know, one of the things that, that DSEI has going for it is that it's very much an industry show. So you have companies here whose buyers may not be directly a Ministry of Defense or an Armed Force uh, branch, but instead other companies. And those are the conversations where I'm selling the component parts and we, we co-manufacture and then we sell to a, a third party. Those sorts of things are happening left, right and center this week. Yeah. Right. And you know, you have a lot of country delegations, 36 of them here, including US. Mm -hmm. Now, have, you, have your companies given you a feedback? that uh, some of them have been interacting with uh, delegations of South America, let's say Africa, the countries which are high growth regions. Yeah, um, a lot of it is just done sort of informally, company to uh, the delegation to, to the company directly, not necessarily telling us as the pavilion organizer, you know, what they're up to, but we do know that there's been a lot, a lot of delegations through and having one-on-one -on -one conversations with both our SMEs and some of our larger companies here. Right, and now that you know it's time to wrap up, Peter, would like to understand from you: Is there something you'd like to add from your side on the, how do you expect the U.S. Partnership Pavilion to grow from here? We know it's going to grow because we could have sold a lot more square meters than were available to us, uh, and and we're very thankful that the venue is expanding the way that it is because we are sure that we will be bringing more companies occupying more square meters with more technologies and more innovations or DSDI 2025. Thank you so much You're Peter, it was wonderful speaking with you. Bye.